So we got all of this here. Couple of them. But it would have done so far is just get rid of the beak, the mouth, and uh, the head, all unnecessary parts. Well, I use them, but it's not for everything. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just to put salt. And baking powder. And give it a knee. That should look okay. I'm going to be doing this for about, I don't know, but for about like 10 minutes maybe. Up until I get rid of this fly. Yeah. Okay, so go like this without stopping. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to cut the video here and show you how it's going to look after 10 minutes. Okay, um, after kneading for about six to seven minutes, you can get to see the slime here. It's really slimy. And I'll keep doing a little bit more just to show you how to do it. It's a very tiring of an exhausting process, but if you want that tender um, um this just like this. Yeah, gotta do that. Alright, see the uh, the section cups here? Sometimes they're filled with uh with the dirt or sand. Um you also need to get rid of them. Okay, so what I do here else? Uh just like okay, here's a big one. What I do here is just like get rid of it. And the whole slime. And check each and every of suction cups one by one to make sure that there's no filth left in there. Okay. Well I've done this one and that one and I'm just taking out this one to show you people. Yeah, here's a little bit left. Yeah. Here it is. Okay, so and after we get done with kneading, I mean just beating it up, what we do here uh, is just watch it thoroughly to get rid of the excess salt and the uh, baking soda. And that's the final process. Okay, after kneading, what I did was washing my octopuses uh, thoroughly under the run water. Okay, this process is just completed. Next thing is dry. Alright, um, I've done so many of these octopuses, like, I don't know, maybe thousands of them. Uh, but I sometimes I see people like laying their octopus like sideways and it's not the best way to dry. So what I do here is got a little slip here, okay, just like this. And put a hook and then get up here. And I'm gonna work with the same process for the others. Let's just go. Well, if you don't have a hook at home, you can just put it on a, like, uh, a peg or a rope, something. Just make sure 
you place it upside down. All right, uh, I'm just gonna go here too. All right, put it here. Right, there's one going there. All right. So, I'll let it just just dry naturally. Okay, so this is how it should be. All right. So what we've done so far is just uh, we put uh, coarse salt. Well, you can put any any kind of like salt. If you have like coarse salt, if you have like kosher salt, if you have, it's just like sea salt, doesn't matter. Just put salt and baking soda and knead it. But don't take a break. Don't give up house. Okay? Don't take a break. Just gonna do it nonstop. And then wash it thoroughly. Get rid of the excess uh, salt and baking soda. Uh, finally, with the help of a hook or a rope or I don't know, just like a peg or something. Huh? Uh, make sure that uh, you hang it where it can drain. Yeah, see? Look at those beautiful suckers. They're really cool. They are really cool. And it's a pair size uh, office. And I think it'll serve uh, just one to two persons at dinner. Alright, that's it.